you have events that are equally likely. Discrete uniform is also called equally likely outcome distribution. Equally likely outcome distribution. That is what we call discrete uniform. This is used in survey where you want to choose participants, okay, for clinical trial, and you give equal chance to everyone, anyone can be chosen. We are using a discrete uniform. Now, the, when next follow discrete uniform, the parameter is N. The probability mass function for discrete uniform is the most simplest in the world, just one over N. What does it mean? The mean is one over two, N plus one. The variance is that. We want to derive this right now. I think I just told you the essence of the discrete uniform. This is a probability distribution that we use when we assume equal chance to element in the sample space. Does that make sense? Okay, now I want to go into discrete uniform now. Okay, the way I want to go into discrete uniform now for discrete uniform, for all discrete uh, uniform. Okay, now if I have, um, if I got E1, E2, E3, blah, 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 EN, okay, and all the E's here, okay, actually, uh, you know, uh, lies in the sample space, omega, go ahead. Yeah, because when you're actually going to simplify this P, and P is 1 minus Q. Along the line, Q is going to come. Yeah, because uh, P is 1 minus Q. So, you know, one way or the other, that is going to come. In. You know, when you simplify uh, this guy now, you're still going to do some algebra here. You know that? Yeah. That makes sense, right? Yep. Okay, now, here... The probability of the union, right? You remember? I start from 1 here to N. The probability of the union is going to be what? Do you remember that we did this, right? Right? Wait, now, when you have this, and because E1 or to EN constitute the sample space, this is going to be equal to the probability of the sample space. The probability of the sample space is actually equal to 1. So if I write the probability of E1 and I put this guy here, okay, equal to 1, then this guy is like I'm having a 1, sum of a constant. That's going to be N, right? So which is going to be N, this guy. And what is that? 1 over what? This is how we derive this from the, what we've done before. This is what we call discrete uniform distribution. Now, I quickly want to go because of my time to the derivation of the mean, the knowledge of algebra. You need the knowledge of algebra here. Okay. I want to derive the mean. Okay. The, the sample space here is actually um, going to start from 1, 2, 3, to so n. It's a natural number, okay? Now, uh, x, p of s, okay? S start from 1 to n, okay? S start from 1 uh, to n, x, 1 over n, Okay? Now, this is going to be 1 over n, summation x, x start from 1 to n. This is 1, 2, 3, until you get to n, right? Oh, my God. You got to remember what you've done before. What is this sum? This is, this is uh, uh, you know, it, this is a natural number. What is the sum of a natural number? Do you remember sum to n term, which is going to be n over 2? First time plus last time. Do you remember this formula from high school? You got to remember what you've done before. Okay, so here now, 
Uh, well, uh, well, so uh, it means my S N N over two. What is the first time? One. What is the last time? N. Right. So this guy is going to replace this. So if I want to rewrite that guy now. So if I want to rewrite that guy now, I'm actually going to have 1 over n into n over 2 into n plus 1. This cancel that. What do I have? Which is this guy? Now let's quickly derive the variance. The variance of s is expected value of s squared minus this guy. We've, we've got in the expected value of s. We want to get this guy. Oh, we can go direct in this one. Gonna be super cool. Summation s squared. Okay, s start from one to n. Okay. Now, if you take a look at that guy right now, okay, so here is actually this one over n, and this guy one over n, this. Right? 1 over n, 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, up to n squared. There's another formula. The sum of squared of natural numbers. Okay? Uh, uh, is it this guy? Can somebody remember this? From what you've done before, that is the sum of square of a natural number. That's a formula. I'm going to plug in this guy here, so I'm going to have, um, I'm going to have n into this. This consider, this is, oh, sorry. Uh, this is going to be n plus 1, so n plus 1 divided by 6. This is expected value of s squared. Uh, what is my what is the time now? Uh, Forty nine. Forty nine. Thank you. Now, what would be the variance of s? You know, the variance is e of s squared minus e of s or squared. What do I get here? N plus one. Two n plus one divided by six minus the square of what we got before. Right? Okay, so n plus 1, 2n plus 1 divided by 6 minus n plus 1, all squared over 4. Right? 12. 6 goes here, that's going to be uh, 2, okay, into n plus 1, 2n plus 1, then 3. Right? You can factorize this guy. Okay, uh, n plus 1 is common. You bring it out. So, you're going to have 2 into 2n two plus 1 minus 3 into n plus 1 divided by 12. Right? You know, to succeed in statistics, you need knowledge of mathematics. Okay? So, that's why for those of you who have lost us with algebra and calculus, Meet with me during my office hour. Okay, I'm going to walk you through some stuff. Okay, so right here, uh, the variance of s is n plus 1 into the 4n. Okay, 4n plus 2 minus 3n minus 3 divided by 12 n plus 1 n minus one let's take a look at that it's the same thing as that so the variance of s 
okay so which is what you have here okay and that is how to go uh about about this okay is there any question that's like the theory of statistics we learn about how we put statistical model in place deriving you know from the first using uh from the first principle does that make sense and that's why you need the knowledge of uh, basis knowledge of mathematics like algebra